by the abundance of green areas that enhances both the urban aspect of the city and the quality of life of its residents. In today's video, I'll be showcasing you five different squares or plazas at the heart of the city center. Let's go. It is located in the heart of the banking area. It was called Cobo until 1904 when it was renamed Plaza San Martin in the honor of the Liberator. In its center is an equestrian statue of General San Martin who led the army of Andes with military force of around 3,500 soldiers from Argentina across the Andes Mountains to liberate Chile from Spanish colonial rule. You notice that he points with his right arm the path his army followed in the Andes mountain range. This is the replica of the work of Jose Daumas. A replica of this same work is located in the Plaza San Martin in the city of Buenos Aires. Depending on its availability, anyone can rent a bicycle, charge their phones, and use the bicycle pump conveniently for free. And just around the corner, you will see the Ministry of Culture of Mendoza. A few steps from Plaza Independencia and one block from Avenida San Martin is where you'd find Plaza España. It has a design made up of central space with a fountain, typical of Spanish patios, and as a background, a representative monument of the Argentine-Spanish fraternity with commemorative art. Plaza España is one of the places most admired by tourists and locals. The gleaming tiles and floors, the central fountain, the monument, and the grove of trees will surely seduce you to rest here for a long time. These decorated motif tiles were brought directly from Spain to here, and if you didn't know, this plaza was donated by the Spanish government to the Argentine Republic. All these architectural and sculpture works are framed by lush vegetation created by the Mendoza ditches.
located in the residential area, its name is a tribute to the neighboring nation for the help given to the inhabitants of Mendoza during the earthquake of 1861. It's also just across Carrefour. In the central space, it has a fountain with dancing waters, and there is a monument in the memory of O'Higgins and San Martin that symbolizes the friendship between Argentina and Chile, joining their hands over a sword. Also noteworthy is the age-old vegetation of tipas and eucalyptus just around the plaza. The Plaza Chile with its leafy grove and children's games invites you to rest. This enormous green space of four blocks with its 1,600 square meters of extension was projected as the center of the new city after the earthquake in 1861. It has a central fountain of dancing waters and two important urban axes originate from this point. The Sarmiento Pedestrian Street, which is linked to the shopping center and San Martin Park, and Mitre Avenue, which leads to the Civic Center. Now, under its central esplanade are the Julio Quintanilla Municipal Theater and the Municipal Museum of Modern Art, with exhibitions of contemporary painting and sculpture. Here, you will be able to rent a bicycle for free or hop onto the city tour bus and be on 15 different pit stops at some of the best landmarks. I'd recommend this for anyone who's in Mendoza for a few short days. On the weekends, it is the scene of the craft fair that the artisans come together to market their products and that from time to time is enriched by the presence of some outdoor shows.
Paulo Nunes. Entering at the corner of Montevideo and 25 de Mayo, and opposite of this Indian restaurant, you'll see Plaza Italia. Originally called Plaza Lima in the honor of Peruvian City's generous contribution to the earthquake relief efforts, the square was renamed to honor the Italian community for the active social life it has and in gratitude of the donations received during the post-earthquake. It was designed and planned by the engineer Julio Balofet. It is worth mentioning that the development was conditioned by the hydric furrows and it was built in such a way that it was easy to evacuate in the event of an eventual earthquake. In it are important sculptural works, such as the Roman wolf, breastfeeding Romulus and Remus, whose author was the artist Louis Perlotti, which represents the foundation of Rome. In addition, it's accompanied with different types of art with Italian motifs. It is very pretty to visit, especially at siesta time. It is very common to walk through one of these plazas in Mendoza and find a great social life. All of these can be visited in a day. Adults and children come together to share beautiful moments in full contact with nature. These plazas always supply with remarkable vegetation, combined modern European and 19th century architectural styles, they are a must for the tourist who comes to the city.